What's good, family? It is Tara Chantel. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in, and subscribing. I appreciate you so much. We back at it. I'm Tara Chantel. I am a spiritual activist, a self-love advocate, and I like to talk that talk, okay? And what is on my spirit today is how important it is to rip up the script. And you're probably like, what is the script, Tara? What is the script? Society has the script that they give us, and we unconsciously follow it. And we do this not knowing and not aware that we have a choice to live our life. We have a choice to do something that is outside of the norm. That's why they call it social norms, because everybody is doing it, because everybody just got hooked on this script. And this script is like being a consumer, being in the rat race, competing, constantly trying to chase and achieve and do and trying to prove yourself to the outer world to show that you are successful to show others that you matter to show others your value and you're trying to show but most of the time people who are operating in this way are not secure within themselves because they're so busy trying to prove to the world that they matter, trying to prove to the world that they are successful, trying to prove to the world, but end up losing themselves in the process because they are never satisfied when you're constantly achieving, when you're trying to go up this mountain and then you're like, okay, I made the mountain. Now I gotta climb the next one. And I gotta climb the next one. And I gotta do the next thing. I gotta go get the next thing. I gotta go get more money. I gotta go get another car. I gotta go get more clothes. And you're never satisfied because you're not appreciating the simplicity life has to offer. I'm at this very dangerous space in life where it does not take a lot to make me happy. What makes me happy so much is the simple things life has to offer, like being outside in nature and connecting with little kids and they talking to me and they're sharing their secrets with me because they trust me on that level. They think I'm the coolest, dopest person they ever met. And just making that type of relationship and that connection with other souls out here, that's priceless. And we can all love on those moments more when we get out of this mindset where we have to constantly do. And I said this before, like, I'm not trying to do a lot no more. And that's why I'm at this very dangerous space. Like, I'm not trying to constantly rip and run and be busy and just do, do, do and have my schedule all booked out. I personally think we should prioritize our mental health our mental well-being, our spiritual well-being, healing ourselves, connecting with ourselves, doing the shadow work, doing the internal work because everything is an internal battle that we all have. And if we don't confront these internal conflicts that life will throw at us, we will then not be able to take accountability over our lives. Because if we start taking accountability, that's when we keep our power. We hold that responsibility to ourselves to know that we really create whatever life we want. And that is the script. That is your script. It's so important to write your own script out here. This life is truly a movie. This life is what you make it and what you decide. It's so refreshing and rewarding when you realize you're a spiritual warrior out here and you can choose a life that works for you. You can choose something that fits your dynamic, that fits your lifestyle. You don't have to conform. And I just wanna give you that permission because I'm not conforming. And I feel like because I'm constantly prioritizing my spiritual and mental well-being, that means I'm resting, that means I'm taking naps, I'm taking breaks because I'm not gonna get burnt out. I'm gonna constantly be creative because that is what I wanna do. I don't wanna work. That's not my dream job is to just work. My dream job is to do what I love every day so it doesn't even feel like work. Like, what? I'm not, I, I'm getting paid to just do what I love, to create, to laugh, to have fun. 
that is what we should be doing every day we should not dread any moment of the day we should not be like oh i'm ready to go like rushing time rushing the clock and just looking past our life and wasting every moment because the true moments is connecting with your loved ones and having these laughters. Those are so priceless. Money can't buy laughs. Like you can't buy this type of stuff. And it just will continue to boost our sales, boost our immune system when we really just take control of our lives. Because sometimes we will look up and like question everything and lose ourselves in these relationships these jobs and catering to the world and we forget to prioritize our own needs and our own desires we end up self-sacrificing ourselves for what because we're trying to prove we're trying to constantly do and then that's how we're never gonna be satisfied if we stay competing in this rat race you can opt out family opt out a life is worth living is having moments that can take your breath away. Life is worth living is having fun every single day. I truly don't believe that we're supposed to be mad, upset. That's not our divine birthright. You can see kids just playing. They're, they have such a lightness about their self. They're playing. Why do we stop playing when we just get to a certain age? Who told you that you have to be an adult like an adult is what you define it but we feel like we have to have these responsibilities and we gotta be a grown-up and we can't have fun and we only can have fun on the weekends i don't buy into that i'm not buying into that and i feel like it's so much freedom that i'm choosing to live a life for myself and that's why it's so dangerous because the little things make me so happy and just diving deeper and deeper into like spirituality it really makes you not want to do a lot no more it's like i don't have to prove nothing to nobody and and it's like i live for moments to slow down i'm not in a rush it's like time is on our side and we're taking moments to breathe moments to rest and to slow down we be rushing to get to the red light because we're not aware that time is truly an illusion time is on your side but we be rushing to like hit these goals and hit these achievements or like i'm gonna be happy when why not start now why not enjoy every moment right now rip up that script man this your movie this your life this your world do what works for you do what makes you happy every single day. By knowing what makes you happy, then you can live that life every single day by creating it. It's all up to you. What you finna do. I appreciate you family so much. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in. And I'm gonna meet you at the top, baby. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you later.